To this now, the latest crime stats show a reduction in most crime categories, but that hides the true state of affairs. More, most reported crimes never reached court, and even when they do, there is very low conviction rate. It's so important to understand crime statistics in South Africa. We hear about reported crime, and then we'll hear from the National Prosecuting Authority about successful convictions. But we don't hear about the disparity between crimes that are reported versus crimes that actually get enrolled in court to be prosecuted. And therein lies a massive problem, because the National Prosecuting Authority, rightfully, will not enroll a case for prosecution if they're not confident they'll have a successful prosecution, because they also have resource and capacity issues and they want to win a case. They don't want to waste the state's time. They don't want to waste the time of the accused or the time of the victim. So when one looks at rape as being one of the most horrendous crimes in South Africa, where you look at the amount of crime that's reported versus the amount of crime that actually leads to successful prosecution, you're looking at a conviction rate of only 5%. And that statistic becomes even worse when one looks at a study that came out of Cal's at Wits University that said that only one in nine rapes are actually reported. So we're doing a grave injustice to our women and children in South Africa in respect of GBVF. Now, one of the main problems is the fact that we don't have enough detective skills that are able to complete a docket to the satisfaction of the prosecuting authority to be able to enroll that case for prosecution.